And during it's during this time that your first book takes place, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And that's centered around this idea of Adriatic multinationalism. Mm -hmm. Could you kind of explain what that idea was? So before the Napoleonic Wars, so before like the beginning of the 1800s, um, around the Adriatic, the, the part of the Mediterranean Sea that goes to Venice, there was the Republic of Venice, which kind of worked like a maritime empire and controlled most of the coastlands of the Adriatic Sea and parts of what we consider today uh, Greece. And um, when, when the Napoleonic Wars were over, the Republic of Venice was dissolved. Venice was, um, was, was absorbed within the Habsburg Empire and all of its, and all of its Adriatic territories were also uh, absorbed into the Habsburg Empire as well as the Republic of D Dubrovnik or Ragusa. So what happened is one kind of metropole maritime imperial system dissolved and it was much of it was given to the Habsburgs. And what the Habsburgs decided to do was separate out the parts. So Venice was part of Lombardy, Milan, and, and Trieste was uh, this port town in the upper Adriatic was made kind of a free, a, a semi, like a semi independent free port. And then uh, the coast of Dalmatia was made its own kingdom, but without any provincial, you know, representation it was pretty much organized by the military. And so everything kind of got split up for the first time. And, and all of these different territories, which had all been under this Italian cultural Catholic Venice, now was under this empire that had been ruling for a, quite a while, a multi-ethnic, multilingual, multi-religious world. And so you start seeing people in Dalmatia going, well, why do we have to speak Italian? <laughs> the empire is... The, the, the Vienna is mostly German speaking. The Italians are under Vienna. I mean, the majority of our population speaks uh, a, a, what I would call South Slav language or dialect. So, so there is a change that happens in the Adriatic where you have these movements, which is happening throughout Europe, of nationalism about like our, our state and our world should be organized by our values and our language and all this stuff, except the Adriatic now was multi was now not part of a one language, one religion system, and and so there was this idea of some some ideas that they use is like we'll be like the Hansa, like the League in the North Sea in medieval and early modern times, or maybe we'll be like America, right? We'll be we'll have like lots of different states that all have different you know religions or identities and. And so we'll be we'll be kind of federative in our nationalism.